So the summer is starting to come to an end and I'm a little bit sad because we planted a really nice container garden this year and we have had peppers and herbs all summer long. And at some point we're gonna have to pull those plants out. And um, I'm really sad because I loved having fresh herbs. We grew thyme, rosemary, and it was fantastic all summer. And I want to continue that. So we are gonna set up a grow tent from Mars Hydro that has the full setup, the tent, the um, light, the fan, the ventilation. We can monitor the, um, the humidity and all that fun stuff. And we're gonna take this container garden party throughout the entire winter. So join me, let's assemble the Mars Hydro grow tent. So we've cleared a space for where we're going to put the grow tent and we have the box over there. We're going to be going over there and um, assembling it. I really quick wanted to talk about why you would even have a grow tent, what it does for the, you know, the suburban gardener. And um, also I want to take this opportunity to thank Mars Hydro for sending the grow kit tent. Um, I'm really excited about being able to take our gardening through the winter and um, I really appreciate it. So the links are going to be down below to all their tent assortments. So they have tents all sizes, all ranges, everything, everything you need to go to grow um, your vegetables, herbs, flowers, whatever you want to do to grow them indoors. So why would you even have a grow tent? Um, where we live, our growing season isn't like incredibly long. We start getting really cold, really fast, and we're starting to come up on that. And I know that I'm going to have to give up those plans, right? But the holidays are coming around and I don't want to give up growing my herbs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the grow tent and we're going to do a little experiment. We might do a couple regular plants and we're gonna try maybe a tub or two of hydroponics, which means we're gonna grow those plants in water, basically. We're gonna put nutrients in the water and we're gonna grow those in the water. Just to see the difference between the two and can we actually pull it off, right? So one great thing about a grow tent is if you wanna grow simple things in your house. You want to grow a couple pepper plants. You want to grow some herbs, maybe over the fall and the winter. Um, you can set that up and you can pretty much grow year round in a grow tent. A grow tent has a big LED light in it that keeps that light. You can keep that light shining as much as you want. Most of the time plants get, you know, eight hours of uh, sunlight. So you can mimic that within the tent. The tent is an enclosed environment. That light shines all over. It's reflective on the inside so that light doesn't go all over your house. It stays on the plant. And you can literally have a container garden all year round. Um, we're also gonna take it to another stage come um, the new growing season for next year. One of the things I noticed is we bought our plants from our local, our local home improvement store. And I don't know, we're probably at a wash in terms of, we got a lot of fruit peppers off them and a lot of herbs, but I think because of the cost of the plants, we were sort of at a wash with that. So this year we're gonna start them some, from seed and we're gonna do that in the grow tent. So I'm um, looking forward to using it. Links will be down in the description if you wanna venture and extend your container garden through this uh, uh, winter. We're gonna watch it over the course of the winter to see what we even get out of it. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. And it's a big experiment for both me and Eric. We've been very successful planting things on the deck and now we're at phase two where we wanna start planting, we wanna start growing year round. 
So come on, let's go set up this tent. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting together our Mars Hydro tent and everything else that goes with it. I have my lovely assistant here. He's gonna be doing the construction. He is wearing, yes, an apron. <laughs> Well, that way people know who I am, right? Yeah, this is my... I'm not known as the dude or the man. <laughs> okay. So, um, the whole kit is in this box, so... And it's fragile. It's fragile. Handle with care. Well, the light is in there, so... Well, we don't want to stress test it, do we? So are we going to try the hydroponic? Maybe. Wow, yeah, that is a whole kit. <laughs> wow. Cool. There's all kinds of stuff in there. All right. Here are some instructions. Mixed flow inline fan. So they tell you how that works. I think this is part of the tent material itself, maybe. The canvas material? I don't know. I have no idea what it looks like. We have more of it. Oops. We just <laughs> lost a clamp that goes around this. Air ducting. We don't know anything about the air ducting yet because we just opened the box. This is a timer. Three prong. That's awesome. It takes three prong. That's a good thing because some people on the internet were complaining that they needed a three prong timers and these tend to cost a little bit more so it's included yay here's another one thing that i just lost over there this is a fan speed controller it's variable speed precise control this is a quality assurance thermo hygro hygrometer it measures humidity it's got temperature and percent humidity it even has a time comes, Sweet. In, comes in different colors or it might be black i don't know but they also have green and pink. We have ropes and uh, clips. That's you use to adjust the light, the height so of the light. Probably to hang the light. We have some twine of sorts. We have a mixed flow inline fan. Sweet. So does the fan just keep the air circulating in there? I have no idea. We haven't read an owner's manual yet. We don't know what the purpose of air is. Is it to help keep the temperature at a certain temperature? Who knows? This is beginning gardening 101. <laughs> Folks, we have no idea what we're doing, right? We're just unboxing this point and going to build this. Eric learns Beast. to garden. Okay, they were nice enough to tell us in and out. So that's nice. Here's a fan. Um, 59 watts. It does 200 cubic feet a minute. Yeehaw. Sweet. It's a tunnel fan. It's a tunnel fan. So next time you burn some bacon, just turn this bad boy on. <laughs> Blow that smoke out of the house or reverse it and suck the air out of the house. But yeah. Oh, it's got fan blades in there. So yeah, that's groovy. This is a four inch carbon filter. Don't know why we need a filter unless that's to do something with airflow. Yeah. This kit is pretty cool. Yeah. We're going to be learning gardening, guys, here. One great thing we can use this for is starting seed. Yeah. But also, if you want to do some hydroponics. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people out on the internet that are using this exact kit to grow certain plants from seed. Right, Boo? <laughs> some other kind of plants. Not, <laughs> not special herbs? We're going to be at... All right, so this is some sort of carbon filter. This should be interesting to look at. All right, we have a couple things left here. We have, this is fragile, and this, they don't want any sharp objects. 
One's probably the ten. One's probably the light. Well, let's go ahead and get this out. Alright, we got all kinds of good stuff in here. We got more ropes and clamps and stuff. We have a user manual. That's helpful. Hey, <laughs> that's always helpful. And I believe this is a light in here. We have a power cord in here. Ooh. Ooh. That's some serious. I'm just going to leave this intact because I don't want to break anything until we're ready to break things. But yeah, so this is the Mars Hydro, and you can see all these pretty little LED squares in there. And I don't know what this is. But I'm thinking, depending upon what you're growing. <laughs> stickers, cute. These are stickers for your kids. So maybe when we go back to school. Not for the kids. When we got school and they got little binders and they can go, hey, no. look what my mommy and daddy are growing. <laughs> no, that special, wouldn't be good. Special herbs? <laughs> that wouldn't be good. No. <laughs> Is that what happens after you eat special <laughs> herbs? <laughs> All right. The reason why they didn't want you uh, cutting into this is because you're going to cut some really good stuff in here. So we avoided that. So here's some black tent looking material. Yay! Ooh, it's nice. Ooh. Got some more stickers <laughs> for the kitties. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Looks like this has something to do with building a tent. More stuff. These parts are all lettered, so I hope that helps. Um, low reflective material, I don't know what that's for. Here's a strap, I don't know. Maybe this has a carrying case and you can take this thing from place to place, right? Maybe. Especially if local law enforcement gets too close. <laughs> um, Here's another user manual. So oh, that's all the tents they have. So. Cool. So, yeah. So, this is. So, it looks like this just lists. And I really can't see this very well. But just basically, it's a bunch of different tents. And they're just showing pictures of how to put all these little pipes together, depending upon what model you have. So, yay. So. Let's get building. All right. Amy figured out how this thing goes together. I'm just a dumb talent to actually do it. <laughs> so these are the little corner guys. These are D. There's like eight of them, I think. Four on the bottom, four on the top. Um, e. I thought I saw an H. I don't know what the H goes to, so you have to look that up. Um, so these are guys are basically the guys that just form the, the square on the bottom. So there's four for that. And then there's four that go on the top. And then these guys hook up and they get to be like two of these things tall. And then they basically make this thing kind of tall. So. So I went ahead and kind of unfolded this guy. You can see he's kind of big, sort of. Um, at the top, he's got one hole here for possible ventilation. And then here's another hole over here. Here's a strap for something. Um, a little dinky hole there. Um, the bottom doesn't really have anything too exciting. It's just closed. And then here's gate pod with screen, so maybe you, you want to go in there and chill out, maybe give your plants you know, some fresh air. They got these nice big zippers. They're like pretty heavy duty. Yeah, those are nice. And then you have another one to fold it back up. Um, so this kind of acts as like a doorway to get in there. I mean, that tent is really nice. I think some of them are really cheap, and that... 
This tan is really nice. Yeah, the whole idea with this tent is it's a, you know, it's a heavy-duty canvas. Um, it's got this mylar or whatever reflective stuff in there. So once you do get the lights going, uh, your plants can have a big old party because they can pretty much see what's going on because, well, we won't because we'd be blinded by then. But it would probably get pretty bright in there. So um, assuming this is the top because they got their name up here. And that is the top over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's tent up. Tent up. So I'm just arbitrarily based on, um, we got this flap and everything. It kind of covers all that. Hopefully. They tell you not to use excessive violence and force when putting this together. So I'm guessing some people might not be patient. Um, Unzip they, the bottom. Oh, yeah, the bottom's got a zipper too. Um, oops. So, that's uh, a little bit like putting together a jigsaw puzzle, right, boo? <laughs> We got flap going that way. I got a bottom here that's all unzipped. This is kind of like a tray to help potentially catch any water. You can kind of see it's maybe a couple inches deep or so. And it's got uh, Velcro, uh, so you can probably Velcro it around the pipes down there. So that's what we're going to do next. So here's just one corner. You can pretty much get the idea, right? You can see this thing right here. Got it Velcroed, goes down in there. We're going to put another tray on the outside. But for inside here, it's got that little tray in there. So um, I think we're good now. So one of the things you need in a grow tent is a decent amount of ventilation because plants live off of carbon dioxide. And if the plants are only in there by themselves and it's all closed up, they're going to use up that carbon dioxide and there's not going to be as much for them to thrive. So what this ventilation fan does is it circulates air into there so they get uh, the, all the oxygen that they're producing out and fresh air in there that will have carbon dioxide that they need in it. So some people just put a little desk fan on here. What's great about the Mars Hydro is it comes with a pretty sophisticated um, fan system, ventilation system. So what we've done right now is we've hooked up the um, fan and we put it to one of the um, holes that it has in here um, so it can suck this air out and out of the uh, so we're exhausting out of the tent yeah we're exhausting some of that air part of this uh, grow tent kit includes this a uh, filter system if you have plants that emit some kind of smells like maybe you, you know, are growing some certain kind of herb. You might want to have that ventilation just to keep the um, air from blowing out because you're doing this indoors in your house. It keeps that stinky air from blowing out into your house. So that ventilation system um, filters that air before it goes through the fan. So I don't know. Here's a bunch of ducting that yeah. you can use. Ducting to you can use to connect all that stuff. We haven't or, connected it yet because we're going to be starting out with starts. And uh, we're thinking possibly we're going to put this thing on its side and do some hydroponic. So until those plants either get to a certain size, we'll see how the smell is. 
and um, whether or not we need to use that filtering system. So for right now, we're just going to hook up the fan. So also in this kit, you're going to get a fan controller. So this is a 200 cubic foot a minute fan controller that you can increase and decrease the speed on it depending on how large of a um, tent you get. This is a beginner's small tent. It's great for small spaces in a closet as well as someone that lives in maybe an apartment. So um, you might be lowering your fan speed on this for this smaller kind of tent. But um, Mars Hydro makes tents in all kinds of different uh, sizes. So depending on uh, how big of a tent you get, you know, you might be running that fan a lot higher. But um, yeah, so now let's, let's set up the light. So this is the grow light. This is the Mars Hydro. This is the TS 600. Does that mean it's 600 watts? No, no. no comment on that. A lot of light companies name the model size after the watts, but not necessarily in this case. Okay. Uh, what? Actually, let me clarify that a little bit. The wattage can be either what it draws, aka what you're paying for power, or it can be the total of all these LEDs what they're rated at or something. So some people will do that. They'll take the individual rated and add them all up and maybe call it 600 watts. But really, you're only paying maybe 100 watts for this on your power meter, but it has the equivalent of maybe 150 watts compared to a normal light. 600, I don't think so. So plug it in real quick. It is very bright. Plug it in and hang it like down. <laughs> Well, I mean, we need to install it properly, and then you can kind of see it at work, right, Boo Boo? Woo. Yeah. So. Okay, so the light comes with um, some straps that are adjustable. So as your plant grows, you can raise the light up, right? So when your plants are really small, you're gonna have the light way down um, near the bottom. We're just gonna hang the straps to these little holes right there. Yeah, there's the little back, holes back right hole. there to hang the straps from. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna hook it to the crossbar in the um, tent. So we uh, set the light up. You put these hangers, they're like for pictures. And that connects to that ratchety system so you can raise and lower this. So let's turn the light on. Do the honors, boo. <laughs> cool. There's a lot of light in there. So you put your plants in here and you leave them in the light on for however, you know, plants want eight hours a day light. So you put them on for eight hours. So we get the light on in there. So the reflector in there moves that light all around in there. If you had, if you didn't have a tent, the light would just fizzle and go all over the room, right? But the tent with that reflection keeps that light in there and keeps that light on your plants. So the kit also comes with this um, temperature clock and humidity shows the humidity. So this helps you um, know what's going on in your tent, right? You don't want to get too hot. You don't want it to be too humid, but you don't want to be too low. So this is how you can uh, know what's going on so you can regulate those things. I mean, right now it's almost 80 degrees in here. The, the, um, the temperature thing shows Celsius, so you just have to convert it. So it's close to 80 degrees in here, 53% humidity. So it's a little humid in here. So um, pretty cool. Comes It comes with the kit. So cooks, this is our Mars Hydro uh, grow tent and light setup. So we are going to try to grow something 
One of the great things that this is good for is number one, starting seed at the beginning of the season. And number two, if you're like us and you feel like you want to grow stuff over the winter, but it's particularly cold outside, you don't live in like an area with a long growing season, um, you can play around and get your little gardening fix going on even in the middle of the winter because you can grow stuff in this year round. So I'm, we're going to play around with this to see maybe if we can tip this thing on the side, put it on a table, and we're going to put a small shelf in there, and we're going to get maybe uh, three or four um, pans of hydroponics so we can grow some lettuce, some, some stuff like that over the winter time in this. So we are going to be doing this. We're going to be giving you some updates on how our growing is going on in the Mars Hydro. I can't wait. We're going to have a lot of fun just to see, experiment and see what we can do. Um, all this for us is in preparation for us eventually buying some land. So even though this is a fun exercise for us now, it's getting us um, going for what's coming in the future. So if you live in an apartment, if you want to do a little bit of growing over the winter time, you want to fill this up with some herbs, get some thyme going, get stuff like that that you can use all winter long. Um, check out these. You can get these in all different sizes, and they're a lot of fun, um, especially for us uh, wannabe gardeners. So once again, I just want to thank uh, Mars Hydro for sending us this um, grow tent and light, the whole kit. I will put links in the description to this kit as well as to their website in general. They are really nice people. And to be honest with you, this is a really, really quality tent. I'm uh, really happily surprised in what I see. And um, I'm excited to get going with this. So. Mars Hydro, thank you very much once again for sending this. I really appreciate it. Links will be down in the description for this grow tent. And um, we're going to go shopping and get us some stuff to grow and a few little supplies to get going in this grow tent. So um, thank you again, once again, Mars Hydro. If you like this kind of video, or if you want to watch our process of growing some stuff in this Mars, Hy Mars Hydro tent, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the bell. Um, you'll get notified of our uploads. Also leave a comment down below and let, let me know what you think about this tent and uh, give us a little encouragement so we can, um, you know, stay with us and get this, get us some little, little things growing this year. Also, visit me on my Facebook group, um, facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. We are talking about cooking, kitchen gadgets. We have a lot of people in there that grow a lot of things. So come on and join us and join the conversation. Also, you can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. And also on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely going at the end. Oh! Um.